look like no rootin', tootin', son of a bitch and cold blooded assassin. So you finally have the logline, short synopsis, and character bios for your story. You're ready to start writing the great scenes that will make up your tale. But just what is a good scene and how do you go about writing it? Let's jump right in. Welcome to Get Writing, everyone. I'm Dr. Stavros Halvatsis. There are several ways to classify scenes. Reactive, proactive, turning point scenes, midpoint scenes, the must-have scene, and so on. In this video, I want to lay out a strategy for writing an accomplished scene in the general sense. The most important things to know off the bat are who is the central or focus character in your scene? What is his or her initial demeanor and emotional state? You also need to know who the opposing character in the scene is, who obstructs or needs something from your focus character. Likewise, you need to know this opposing character's demeanor and emotional state. Next, you need to determine the conflict or disagreement between the characters in the scene and how this affects their demeanor. You need to establish what new incident or new information decides the outcome of the scene. How does the scene fit into the overall story to advance the plot? Does the scene expose something about the characters that we didn't know before? Having answered these questions, consider the method of presentation. How will you communicate this information? Through dialogue, action, or both? In Unforgiven, the call to adventure scene uses dialogue, subtext, and the physical demeanor of the characters to convey information. It juxtaposes the overconfident big-talking Schofield kid against the bankrupt and demoralized pig farmer, William Money. So you're Pete Southall's nephew, huh? I thought maybe you were someone come to kill me for something I'd done in the old days. I could have. Easy. The scene launches the story and establishes the emotional posture of both characters. It also acts as a contrast to how these characters will change during the story. In other words, it contains all the ingredients of a spectacular scene. Here's a bit more detail. A young, bombastic gunslinger, the Schofield kid, approaches the ex-outlaw William Money at his pig farm. The kid wants Money to join him on a contract killing of a couple of cowboys who reportedly cut up the face of a prostitute in the town of Big Whiskey. How about being my partner? I'm heading up north, then through Nebrera up to Wyoming. I'm gonna kill a couple of no-good cowboys. Five hundred apiece. Money, who is broke, needs the cash to feed himself and his two young children, but he initially rejects the offer because he promised his wife, before she died, to be a better man. I ain't like that anymore, kid. This whiskey died as much as anything else. My wife, she cured me of that. Specifically, the scene acts as the inciting incident of the story and contains all the markers that set it out as exemplary. It has a focused character in the protagonist, the down and out William Money, who is given an opportunity to earn big cash. It introduces the cocky Schofield kid as someone who wants something from money. It unveils the goal of the scene in the form of a job offer. It advances the plot by initiating a causal chain of events that drives the story forward, it characterizes both money as a man in conflict with himself and the Schofield kid as someone who needs money's assistance but who tries to hide it under his exaggerated bravado. To sum it all up then, well-written scenes reveal opposing intentions, hint at the feelings of the characters, often through subtext and demeanor, result in an outcome and finally contribute to the overall plot of the story. Ensure that your scenes do the same. That's it for now. If you've learned something from this video, consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons and leaving a comment to share your thoughts and to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching and see you soon.